안녕하세요, 터미입니다. Let's get focused on studying Korean today. Today's grammar is first, 눈 사이에, while subject is doing. Second, 눈 샘치다, to tentatively pretend as if. And third, 눈 수가 있다, subject will do. Once you have learned today's grammar, you will be able to understand a cheesy movie title such as 당신이 잠든 사이에 while you are sleeping. Oh, I like this kind of title, don't you? So let's make sure to learn the expressions that native speakers often use and pass topic to level 4 and become a super master of intermediate Korean. You can accomplish this for sure. 그럼 시작할게요. The first grammar, 눈 사이에 means while subject is doing. 눈 동안 is a similar expression, therefore you can interchangeably use them. For the usage, you use the present tense for a noun modifier such as 눈 사이에. You attach 눈 to the verb stem regardless of a final consonant. Therefore, 가다 to go will be 가는 사이에 while I was going. 먹다 to eat will be 먹는 사이에 while I was eating. If you want to make the past tense, you use 은이은 at 어떤 or 던. Okay? Now, let's read a sample sentence to see what happened while a speaker was doing something. 어제 내가 회사에 간 사이에 택배가 왔다. Delivery arrived. While I went to the office yesterday. Here, kada is to go. You apply the past tense of a noun modifier, which is ni unsaye, to make kansaye while I went to the office. Let's read the next sample sentence. Nega iroke nairu mogun saye. Adirun perso oduni teo isota. While I got old like this, my son already became an adult. Here, nairu mokta means to get old. You use 은이은 사이에 to make 나이를 먹은 사이에 while I got old. 나이를 먹다 literally means to eat age. It's a unique Korean expression to mean to get old. Okay? Then let's read the next sample sentence. 어머니는 항상 내가 학교에 가는 사이에 방을 청소한다. My mom always cleans my room while I go to school. Indeed, moms can clean the room quickly in a brief time, right? Anyway, here, kada is to go. You attach 눈 사이에 to the stem to make 가는 사이에 while I go to. Now, let's read the next sample sentence. 내가 밥을 먹는 사이에 동생은 목욕을 했다. While I was eating, my brother took a bath. Here, 먹다 means to eat. You use the present tense of a noun modifier. So you add 는 사이에 to the verb stem to make 먹는 사이에 while I was eating. Quiz! Now let's deepen our understanding by taking simple quizzes. Which one is the correct answer? 내가 시장 사이에 숙제를 전부 끝내나. While I go shopping and come back, finish all your homework. Number one, 갔다 오는. Number two, 갔던. The correct answer is number one. 갔다 오다 means to go and come back. Since it appears that the mom is about to go shopping, you use the present tense of a verb modifier 는 to make 갔다 오는 사이에 while I go shopping and come back. Number two is wrong. Because 갔던 is the past tense, this speaker wants to express the present tense, right? Then let's read the sentence together. 내가 시장 갔다 오는 사이에 숙제를 전부 끝내나? Please imagine yourself to be a mom. Then let's try the next quiz. 어제 내가 친구하고 밥. 너는 어디 있었어? Yesterday, while I ate out with my friend, where were you? Number one, 먹은 사이에. Number two, 먹을 사이에. The correct answer is number one. Since it is the past that the speaker ate out, 
You use the past tense of a noun modifier, u ni un. Thus, it is going to be mogun saie, while I ate. Number two, mogun saie is wrong. Usually, you don't apply this grammar to the future tense. Okay? Then let's read the sentence together. Oze, nega chingu hago pam mogun saie. No nung odi soso. Please read this sentence with a feeling of wonder. The second grammar, nun semchida, means to assume, to tentatively pretend as if, let's just say. You use this when you hypothesize a certain state of affairs to be true. You use nun semchida with verbs. You mainly use this in the present tense of a noun modifier, such as u nun semchida, or the present tense, nun semchida. For example, kada to go will be ka nun semchida. To tentatively pretend as if I go. Mokda to eat will be mongnun semchida. To tentatively pretend as if I eat. Then let's read a simple sentence to see an expression. Well, let's pretend that it is that way. Hangugo kongu hanun semchigo. Hanguge kachi yohengayo. Pretending to be studying Korean, let's go on a trip to Korea together. Here, 공부하다 is to study. You attach the present tense of a noun modifier 눈 샘치고 to make 공부하는 샘치고 pretend that we are studying. In this simple sentence, the real motive is to enjoy traveling in Korea, but the speaker's family might object to this plan if he doesn't have a legitimate reason. Therefore, the speaker uses the expression 샘치다 to pretend that, saying 한국어 공부하는 샘치고, pretend that we are studying Korean. Do you understand this? Then let's read the next simple sentence. 바빠서 점심을 못 먹었지만 동료들이 걱정하니까 그냥 먹은 샘 쳐요. I was too busy to have lunch, but since my co-workers will be worried, let's just say that I already ate lunch. Indeed, I would be worried if someone did not have lunch, wouldn't you? Here, 먹다 is to eat. You attach the past tense of a noun modifier, 은은, to make 먹은 샘 쳐요. Pretend that I already ate. Next, let's see the last expression. 속는 샘 치고, 내 말을 한번 믿어주세요. As if you pretend to be deceived, please take my word for once. Here, 속다 is to be deceived. You add 는 샘치다 to the stem to make 속는 샘치다, as if you pretend to be deceived. Quiz! Then let's deepen our understanding with some quizzes. Which one is the correct answer? 시간이 없으니까 영화는 샘치고 밥 먹으러 가지 않을래요? Since we don't have time, let's just say that we watch the movie already and have a meal instead. Number one, pon. Number two, pol. The correct answer is number one. You can use this simple sentence on a date when you are in a hurry. Here, poda is to watch. You attach the past tense of a noun modifier, 니은, to make 본샘 치고. Let's just say that we watched. Thus, the speaker wants to express that let's skip the movie this time and eat out something instead. Number two is wrong because it's used the future tense, 볼. You cannot use the grammar with the future tense. Okay? Now, let's read this sentence together. 시간이 없으니까 영화는 본샘 치고 밥 먹으러 가지 않을래요? Please read this sentence until you can read it naturally. Then let's try the next quiz. 친구를 도와주는 친구 부탁을 들어주었다. Let's just say that I'm helping my friend. I accepted my friend's request. Number one, 샘 치고. Number two, 샘이고. The correct answer is number one. 도와주다 means to help. You add 는 샘치고 to the stem to make 도와주는 샘치고. Let's just say that I'm helping my friend. 
In other words, the speaker is not that happy to accept his friend's request. Maybe his friend asked him to buy something expensive, but the speaker decided to accept his friend's request, assuming that he was helping his friend. Can you feel the nuance? Number two, semigo sounds a little bit strange. It's not a common expression, so don't get tricked. Then let's read this sentence together. 친구를 도와주는 셈 치고 친구 부탁을 들어주었다. Please read this sentence to convey the feeling that you looked after your friend. Okay, then let's learn our last grammar. 눈수가 있다. Hey, Tammy, this is very similar to 할수 있다. That's right. 할수 있다 means can do something, right? You can express the possibility. On the other hand, this 하는 수가 있다 means subject will do. You use this expression to threaten, order, or warn the other person because you can expect a possibility that something negative might happen. You use 눈 수가 있다 only with the present tense of a noun modifier. Therefore, 가다 to go will be 가는 수가 있다, I will go. 먹다 to eat will be 먹는 수가 있다, I will eat. Then, let's read the sample sentence to see what kind of warning the speaker is giving. 방 청소 안 하면 용돈 안 주는 수가 있어. Clean your room or I will not give you an allowance. This is an expression a mother can use towards her child. The expression is a warning that if the state of the room remains unclean, the subject will not give allowance. So you use 눈 수가 있다. In this sentence, 안 주다 means not to give. So you attach the present tense of a noun modifier to make 안 주는 수가 있다. I will not give you an allowance. Let's see what warning the speaker is giving next. 엄마 말안 들으면 혼나는 수가 있어. If you don't listen to me, you will be scolded. You can feel the atmosphere in which the mother is trying to persuade her child, right? By the way, I often use this expression to my children. Here, 혼나다 is to be scolded. You attach 눈 수가 있다 to make 혼나는 수가 있다. You change this to 반말 to make 혼나는 수가 있어. You will be scolded. Let's see what the next speaker is advising on. 약도 과하게 먹으면 독이 되는 수가 있다. Medicine can be poisonous if you take it too much. Indeed, taking too much medicine is not healthy, right? Here, 독이 되다 means to be poisonous. You attach 눈 수가 있다 to the stem to make 독이 되는 수가 있다 can be poisonous. Quiz! Then let's deepen our understanding with some quizzes and give warnings or advice. Which one is the correct answer? 아들, 빨리 안 오면 우리가 고기 전부 수가 있어. Son, if you don't come soon, we will eat all barbecue meat. Number one, 먹은. Number two, 먹는. Oh no, you should hurry to eat the meat. The correct answer is number two. You can probably imagine a barbecue scene. Here, 먹다 is to eat. You attach 눈 수가 있다 to make 먹는 수가 있다, we will eat. Since this is a casual speaking, you say 먹는 수가 있어, we will eat. Number two is wrong because 먹은 is not the present tense. The present tense 먹는 is always correct for this grammar. So be careful. Then let's read this sentence by imagining a family barbecue scene. 아들, 빨리 안 오면 우리가 고기 전부 먹는 수가 있어. Please read this sentence with the feeling of making the listener hurry up. Let's see the next quiz. 운전할 때 졸지 마. 그러다가 사고가 있다. Don't sleep when you're driving. If you do such a thing, you will have an accident. Number one, 날. Number two, 나는 수가. The correct answer is number two. 사고가 나다 is to have an accident. 
you attach nun suga itta to the verb stem to make na nun suga itta, you will have an accident. Number one is incorrect because na is the future tense. It is always the present tense for this grammar. So don't get tricked. Then let's warn this person with dignity. 운전할 때 졸지 마. 그러다가 사고가 나는 수가 있다. Please read this sentence as if you were sincerely giving advice. Oh. Homework! Now it's time for today's saying. 속는 셈 치고 자기는 할수 있다고 몇 번이나 말해보세요. 저절로 자존감이 올라갈 겁니다. Pretend to be fooled and say, I can do it over and over again. Your self-esteem will rise naturally. Wow, such a powerful sentence. You should trust yourself to improve your Korean, right? Then I will announce today's homework. There are two parts to the homework. For the first part, please make three sentences using today's grammar. For the first sentence, please use 눈 사이에 while subject is doing. For example, 나는 시험에 합격하기 위해서 사람들이 자는 사이에 공부한다. To pass the examination, I study while everyone else is sleeping. This is a wonderful sentence that conveys the fact that this person is making an effort. For the second sentence, please use 눈 샘치다 to tentatively pretend as if. Let's say that. For example, 오늘은 많이 걸었으니까 운동은 샘치고 헬스장은 오늘 쉬어야지. Today, since I walked a lot, let's say that I exercised and skipped going to the gym. There is a nuance of making an excuse for himself, right? For the third sentence, please use 는 수가 있다, subject will do, to warn a child as if you are a parent. For example, 그렇게 공부 안 하면 이번 토픽 시험에 떨어지는 수가 있어. If you don't study, you might fail the coming topic examination. If you put your hands on your waist, you might come up with some good sentence. The second homework is to memorize new words. Please memorize the 40 words beginning from number 1641 to number 1680 on page 21 of the intermediate vocabulary list. There is a vocabulary quiz for 40 words on my website, so feel free to try it. The link is in the description box. That's all. Great job, everyone. As always, I'm wholeheartedly cheering for the happiness of all of you. 그럼 오늘도 행복 가득, 웃음 가득한 하루 되세요. 한국어 파이팅 파이팅 파이팅!